Okay, in today's video we'll be showing a PCAM instruction. Uh, basically, I got asked to do this, you know, over uh, by email, so I just, you know, decided to throw something together real quick. Um, it's not 100% finished, but, uh, you know, I, in order to do that, you know, to explain everything, it would get well exceed 15 minutes. So, uh, I will will show you exactly what, what's been done so far. So, um, we're on the emulator. We're running an emulator 5000. This chassis we're running. We are running, uh, I've emulated the program that I'm running, and so what I've done so far is, is came in here and, and in the main routine, uh, I've come in here and, and put uh, a few PCAMs in here. So what I'll do is I'll basically describe what I've done so far, is basically when I hit the home axis and I'm simulating, <coughs> basically simulating all the uh, inputs and everything, so there's no live parts whatsoever. So basically, uh, at this point, we're using two virtual axes. We're using uh, we're using the hardware as as its alias, but we're not actually using the hardware as push buttons. Um, so uh, first off, we're we're homing and in rung zero, we're homing both the servos. We come back in, uh, we start the camming in rung two, and I'll show you the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I have two two uh, axes, right? I have a virtual axis conveyor and a virtual axis knife. Uh, so I'm basically going to say the the conveyor is running, and then when the conveyor runs so far, the knife is supposed to index uh, within like a you know like a circle. So with that said, uh, we have the slave, which is the virtual knife, right? And then we have the master, which is going to be the cart or the uh, the conveyor. So as the conveyor runs, the slave will actually run too, and then of course we just our motion instruction itself has, you know, has this basically, uh, we just named it. Uh, the direction we have is, is one. The, the slave counts, if you look at that, uh, the slave uh, scaling is one to one. As far as the ratio between, uh, relationship between the slave and the master. The execution mode is in once. Uh, the uh, execution schedule is immediately. So we want to do this, this task immediately. Uh, you can do cam locks. You can do a many many different functions with this. Um, and I will say this is the this uh, motion axis position cam. This is not the motion axis. Uh, there's a time cam that you can do as well. So this is the actual uh, position cam. So with that said, let's let's go ahead and open the cam profile. And let's actually let's open up the uh, let's open up the the tag editor. And so this is the cam profile forward, right? And what I've done right here is in the cam and basically in the data types, um, I've had it as a cam profile. And the dimensions of that array is uh, 101. So basically we have 101 points that we can make an index or we can actually uh, follow, I should say. So when you go in and put your data in here to here, we have a hundred points, right? Zero to a hundred, which is a hundred one. Okay, so with that said, when this is drawn out, right? So if you look up here, this will be the um, the selected slave position, selected slave velocity, selected slave accel acceleration, selected slave the, jer the jerk that it's going to do, right? So you could actually draw this out if you wanted to. You could you know, pin it out and, uh, you know, insert positions and draw. Um, in our case, basically, uh, I made a spreadsheet. And what I did is I, I basically said, you know, uh, in this position, I want, uh, based upon what pi is, I'm going to come in and, and make a, a calculation. So basically, it's a circle, you know, is pretty easy. You know, we're using pi. Uh, so that's, that's basically where we're getting into this. Um, so, uh, as uh, the master is at negative one, it's going to index all the way down to zero. When it indexes to zero, the slave should be at one. So, the slave should go all the way to one, right? All right, so uh, let's look at that as well. So, in the homing of in the, in the, in the homing of both of these, right? So, let's, let's open both these attributes up. In the homing of these, uh, we have a zero position, 
and we have a zero position. So in the instance uh, of what we're doing right here, um, and I may need to change this, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it and see. I haven't run it yet, so I'm going to run it and see and let you see it live, right? So in the position that this comes in, it, it should actually index up to a one position. Okay, so what we should do, uh, and I'll, I've got a, basically I've made a, uh, a trend that I've got right here. And what I'll do is I'll open this up a little bit. Um, I kind of want it to be a little bit easier to read. So let's go negative uh, two. So we'll give some some custom limits in here and then we'll apply that. So we'll go from zero to a plus two and a negative two. Um, so uh, real quick let's just go ahead and index that down and what we'll do is we'll kind of make our screen where we can we can see both of them and then what, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go online I'll download um, again this is virtual so I'm using I'm downloading in my uh, chassis right my uh, virtual chassis so my AB uh, virtual chassis virtual backplane okay so I uh, downloaded fine no errors uh, <laughs> luckily so again I haven't run this yet so let's see alright so first off we want a home uh, actually let's go ahead and start our um, let's start our trend and see what it does right okay so we know that right now we have both of them actually look like they're home but let's go ahead and go ahead and home it anyway okay so in rung one all we're doing is starting the, ca the cam so we're starting the cam profile and we're not actually going to run anything until rung two when rung two okay so when the cam gets done or when the cam is in progress it's not going to pc we're not using the pc bit process complete we're using so to go over that real quick, you have an enable, you have a done, you have an ER in case it, it has a, an error. So if you haven't done anything, write it an error out. If you have, uh, the IP is the in progress, the PC is the process complete. Okay, so we're using the IP down here. So we're saying once the uh, emotion axis position cam has already indexed into a process or in progress, then we want to go ahead and give it the ability to for uh, the operator to hit the move button. When the move button hits, then it will move the conveyor, which is the master, right? It will move the uh, virtual conveyor, because if we look at the position again, the master is your conveyor, and your slave is going to be your knife. So the master is, and that, that's illustrated right here, right? Slave, master. So we want to run, on the, the second run, we're going to run the uh, virtual conveyor. And we, as we run the virtual conveyor, and we're running at a speed of 2, we're going to actually, uh, and that's based upon the dynamics that I set over here, but we're going we're gonna to go ahead and you're going to see this actually index up. It's not going to be a full circle because of the way it, it, it well, it could be, but I don't think it, I just set this trend up kind of light, so I didn't really set it up the way it, it should show. So it might not might not show the same as, as what this shows. Um, this is very incremental. Um, the timing of this is, is done uh, differently. So you know, setting this cam or setting this uh, trend up, you could get it to match, but we we may uh, depending upon time. But let's go ahead. Being that we got this to the to this point, we're going to hit run it. Okay. So we've homed everything, right? We process complete. We're using the process complete over here to say that both of them are homed. We're going to go ahead and start the camming. Okay, so as the camming started, right, you see the in progress happened. And now we're at the ability, we have the ability to actually start the move, right? So let's go ahead and start the move. Okay, so you've seen exactly what happened. So let's back that up. So let's stop. Back that up a little bit. Uh, actually, let's start that back. 
I start it back and so it's at a position 89 right now so let's go ahead and home it again okay so you've seen it home okay so everything's homed and we want to go ahead as we watch it um, even though the it, it say it it's saying right now that it's in uh, process complete that's just because once you index it again these will happen so fast that you can't see them it depends on your scan rate and we can itemize that down a little later if we needed to uh, but for this illustration you know I just wanted to, to prove out the um, the cam and how it works right so again we're going to start the camming we start the camming we're going to do the move as we do the move you should see it index up and come back down now the reason it came back down and I'll go ahead and go through this is after the MAM was finished and the process complete was finished it indexed the next cam so the next cam was again the opposite direction and then when it got done it came down it indexed again to another so essentially it should have did a full circle but um, I believe yes yeah. so here's what happened I had an error <clears throat> so maybe I don't I didn't set this cam up properly or maybe yeah that's what I did I didn't actually finish the cam um, it's actually matched up with the uh, so what I did is I copied and pasted so, so anything below this point would have um, this is open up all the way anything below this point would have would not have worked anyway um, so to look at the logic again we home we start the cam and as we start to move watch so what you'll see is basically you'll see the uh, the motion axis move move that you'll see the new position cam come in you'll see the uh, so as soon as this happens you'll see the new position cam start or the next move start it, and it's supposed to just come in and you see how that worked um, it just basically cascades its way down so it would sit here and jump keep cascading its way down do a full circle but right here it errors out so if I, if I came back to my um, spreadsheet here and made the full circle then you know it would finish out um, and I may come back and actually explain that a little bit there you know better but for the most part what I want to do is I want to show highlight the points of a position cam and just make sure you note that whatever position you have your your master in your master okay so your slave is going to be in relation to your master so with that said you can do the scaling uh, you can do slave or mastering in your scaling you can uh, change the modes like if you wanted to uh, let's go in here you can you know you could change this to continuous uh, once uh, you know persistent you come in and do uh, say immediate you can say pending board only um, you know bi-directional so uh, in this instance we're using we're using immediate because we're basically saying okay immediately happen um, the, the cam is done correctly so we're going to do it that way so in that instance um, the master lock you know we're not using uh, forward only you know so basically we're looking at the commanded speed too not the actual so we're actually looking at the commanded of the master axis and not the actual um, not the actual of the master axis so in the direction we only want to go forward only and just keep in mind so to go back through these uh, again the the bits that you can use are the enable the done the uh, ER in case you wanted to reset something or, or have a false state in this case uh, this was done pretty quick so I didn't uh, the IP which is the in progress and again we're using the IP that we're using the in progress the uh, process complete uh, we could use that but we chose not to right and again I may come back and like fine-tune this and get the full circle running um, just to kind of show that it works but um, so I kind of rough this in um, like I said I got an email in regards to this so I kind of wanted to, to just throw something together real quick to, to kind of illustrate what was going on and how to use a P, uh, P cam and if there's any kind of questions about uh, how to use a time cam or or something of that nature we can we can do that too um, that would be no big deal so uh, with this said let's run this again 
Uh, so we'll home everything. And just watch it one more time. And we'll start the camming. And again, starting the camming does not make it run. Until you index, until you run the master, will anything happen? Right? So as we start, and we actually move the master, which is the, the conveyor, right? The conveyor right here. So as you see the conveyor move, the knife should move, right? So the conveyor moved, the knife moved. Um, and again, that, at that point, you know, everything, everything worked as it, accordingly as it should have. So, uh, up at, well, I will say this until up in here, but again, I have to redo this cam to make it work right. Um, so, real quick, just to explain how the, the position cam works, how to get to these instructions. Um, again, you move over to, it's motion move, I believe. Um, yeah. Okay, so you have a, a position cam. And then you have a time cam and then you have uh, a driven so you you got a lot more stuff you can do but the time cam is something we can go over to if, if somebody's interested in that um, more or less uh, what you're going to see is like a position cam and that's because it's it's derived off per exact exact positions and not to a time-based scenario um, Although time-based scenarios are, are pretty good, and you can count, you can pre-calculate your cams too if you want to. Um, you can have the system pre-calculate cam and um, do that, but you need to be real careful when you do that because you know you need to, to kind of make sure you have everything accordingly as far as what you want to do. So you may see that you know that people are using the cam calculate, but they're generally using that in like a state machine. Or like a state indicator to say, okay, I'm I'm going to calculate. I'm done calculating. Now I'm going to move. Okay, so they're not saying I'm going to move then calculate. So just make sure you know that there's a hierarchy of, of the way that works. Okay, so we're at the 17 minute mark. Um, just want kind of want to show you the uh, position cam, the motion axis position cam. And uh, if there's any questions or whatever, just feel free to email me. Uh, leave a comment below. I'll be glad to answer that. And uh, and again, thank you for your time and your, and your support. Thank you.